top of the morning to you, lads and lasses. I'm Michaela. Kayla. What is that? The mustache. Thanks for noticing. I grew it specifically for today. No, that. I'm not a what. I'm Riley. Kayla, what did you do to me? <sighs> I shrunk Riley to leprechaun size. He made one too many short jokes. Hey, change me back. Help us with the show, little leprechaun. Then maybe I'll consider it. I'm gonna let you two talk and I'll take the first read. If you're planning on running for ASB next year, election packets can be picked up starting Monday and are due by next Friday. Be sure to attend one of the two mandatory meetings either Tuesday after school or Wednesday morning in stage two. For you upperclassmen, juniors and seniors who need to take the ELA Smarter Balanced exam will be receiving a notice to head to the library next week. Keep the notice as your pass and see Mrs. Wood in the library with any questions. Hey seniors, you have a chance to become part of your graduation by showing off your talents. In the past, students have showcased their instrumental musical talents, dance performances, or their vocal ability. If you're interested, pick up the auditioning application packet in the counseling office ASAP. Freshmen, if you're looking for some fun after school today, consider joining in tonight. Hey SK, here's your reminder that eMadness is today. If you haven't been paying attention, eMadness is our new game night. Hosted by Link Crew, this event is targeted towards freshmen, but as long as you have an SK ID, you can attend. Esports will be having a casual gaming area and a Smash Bros tournament. Chaos Club will be having board games and strategy games in the pit, and Magic Club will be attending to the card area. Later in the night, they'll be showing the original Tron after the costume contest. There'll be music and prizes. You're free to bring your own handheld console, Magic Deck, and friends. The event starts at 5.30. Remember, admissions are free, but you must have an SK ID. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ripley. It was a big day for SK Sports. Water Polo took on Stadium. JV came away with a 5-5 tie. Varsity had a much harder time, even with Jacqueline Baker and Hannah Bidas scoring three goals each. Ladies Tennis faced Puyallup, with JV sweeping the Vikings 5-all. Varsity earned their first win yesterday. Haley Deese and Kat Kent both won their singles matches, and Olivia Brooks and Catherine Doyle won a thrilling three-set match coming back from 0-5 in the third to winning 7-5. Baseball took on Emerald Ridge. C-Team won 11-8, and JV won 8-5. Varsity had a harder time, even with Moritz pitching. Olsen, McGaw, and Shockey each had a hit. Looking for a pot of gold this St. Patrick's Day? Michaela showed us a new way to hunt for treasure. Have you ever wanted to be a real-life pirate? Geocaching is a great way to find treasures without worrying about the struggles of seasickness. Geocaching is a global treasure hunt with people searching for caches or secret stashes. This worldwide treasure hunt started in 2000 with a man in Oregon, and has since evolved into a common hobby. Getting started is easy. There's loads of apps you can find on any app store. Here I used CGO. While it lacks the detailed maps some other apps have, it's free and has access to all caches regardless of difficulty rating. It uses GPS tracking to help you navigate to each cache. We headed out to Howe Farm, which has over five caches in the area. Some were unreachable due to the recent rain, so we had to give up. Once you get to the location of a cache, start searching. They may be on the ground, hiding in trees, or in small crevices. They may also be camouflaged into the environment. Open it up. Some have little gifts inside. Feel free to take one. Don't be a jerk and take them all. You can also put stuff in there for other people to find later. Pass on the kindness. Most caches have logs where people sign their name and date they found them. Make sure to bring a pen to show your victory. Now rehide the cache. Make sure it's resealed so no water or other element can disturb the content. This makes the hunt better for the next people, but it also protects the cache from being ruined by the general public. Here's some things to remember. Don't trespass. Caches are accessible from public areas. Don't tread on other people's property. Be wary of wildlife. Don't step on any plants or disturb any animals. Be courteous to other people. Not everyone knows what geocaching is, and they're just minding their business. Now you're ready to start treasure hunting. Going out and searching for treasure was a lot of fun. We even found some money in a little frog. The Career Center still has many different opportunities for you to improve your future. First, there will be a trip to the Kitsap County Job Fair on April 11th. It's a good opportunity to connect with local employers if you are looking for work. There is also an upcoming presentation for those wondering what comes next after applying for financial aid. It will help families interpret their award letters and prepare for college. Spanish language interpretation will also be available. 
Last but not least, spring college visitations are coming up, starting with Washington State University on the 28th. If you want money for these post-high school plans, many scholarships are still available. If you are interested in any of these opportunities, as we have said before, check in with the Career Center. Hey, the deadline for SK crowned packet applications have been extended to today. Get them in and don't forget the auditions on Monday and Tuesday. Now that I'm part leprechaun, I found that St. Patrick's Day has new meanings. I pretty much go home, make some green eggs and ham. I sleep on my green pillowcase. Uh, on St. Patrick's Day, I celebrate my birthday because my birthday is March 16th. St. Patrick's Day, we, uh, we eat pistachio pudding and there's little leprechaun feet on our toilet that's green. Go out to the mall, you know, have some fun. St. Patrick's Day, I wear green so I don't get pinched. St. Patty's Day this year, I'm going to be at a conference, uh, probably watching a little March Madness and hanging out with some friends. I just wear green. What is the leprechaun's favorite type of music? Sham rock and roll. <laughs> For St. Patrick's Day, I don't wear green because I like getting pinched. All we do is we wear green and then we do a scavenger hunt. Thanks, my little friend. In club news, DECA will be meeting next Thursday after school with volunteers to act as mock judges. If you plan on attending ICDC, all of your requirements are due today by the end of school. For those planning on attending the Kids Up Youth Rally, you must attend the Builders of Unity meeting today after school. Field trip forms will be available and due next week. The clubs meeting today are Builders of Unity, Catan, and Interact. Meeting Monday will be AP Action, Chaos, International, and Magic. I'm glad we matched today. I also considered wearing blue. Blue? But it's St. Patrick's Day. You have to rock the green. Actually, St. Patrick's color was sky blue. We didn't start associating green with Ireland until the 18th century. That sounds like a long time ago, but St. Patrick was actually born back in the 4th century. Wait, so where do leprechauns fit in? <sighs> to teach tall people like you important lessons. <laughs>